going to get crocheting. We're going to uh, start with the body, I guess, please. Since you don't have the eyes yet, we're going to start with the body. I'm going to use brown yarn because it's easier to see. But for hazel, uh, I guess you're going, to, you're going to be using the black yarn for her body. And then for her chest, we'll just make it white as if she's laying down. If I can find the end. And your hook. And if you have a stitch marker, if you don't have something like this, you can just use any piece of yarn um, to keep your spot off from where you began the uh, stitch or the rounds. I'll, I'll, I'll show you later on as well. But this is how we're going to start with our uh, the bum. Uh, we're going to put the yarn over your hook and kind of uh, do it again to make a little cross on your hook right here. You see a little X? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the back yarn here and bring it over the hook. And like that, and you're going to pull it and you should be able to make a knot in the back here. Okay, um, so usually I put it down further down so to make it more tight uh, and then pull on the ends again to make it even more tight, okay? So that's our first step. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chain seven. So chaining is very easy, um, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put yarn over and pull through. And that's one chain already. So we did one already. So if you keep going yarn over and pull through, that's two. Yarn over. And if you can't do this just yet, what how I started was I I did it where I just used my fingers. So I would put yarn over, keep it there, and then pull the back yarn using the back yarn. I pulled it over the head, the hook, and then that would be my next chain. So that would be three, chain three. And you keep going until you have seven chains. So four, five. Six, seven. Okay, so by the end, you should have something looking like this. It's okay if it doesn't look like even, um, but as long as it's not too loose, we're good. So if it's a little bit too loose, you might want to do it again. You can just take out your hook um, and pull on this end, and then everything will unravel for you very easily. Okay, so for our next step, we're basically going to be going into these chains that we just made and single crocheting. So I'll show you what we're doing here. So the seventh chain that we did here, we're not going to be using that one. Uh, so if you want to count backwards, we're going to be only doing six times. So there you can see that there is a little hole like underneath each one. So if you kind of like squish it together you can see that there's one hole here there's another one hole here there's one here one here one here that's a little bit tighter and the last one is right here so that's six so that's what you're going to be putting your hook in um, first so this is how we do a single crochet which is very very simple um, so you're going to take this hook you're going to put it through that hole that I just told you so that's our sixth one so not the seventh one the sixth the one before and then you just put your hook hook through you do yarn over uh, which I just usually just bring it through yarn bring through once just through the hole that's it so you have two left and then yarn over again and pull the yarn through both okay so again when I was starting out with crocheting, I just used my fingers to put the yarn over um, the hook because I couldn't use the hook very easily. But if you can do it and practice it, then it should be uh, pretty simple. So then we did our, that was our single crochet. So now we're gonna keep going until we do all the way to the end. So our next uh, hole would be right here, right there. So it might with black yarn, it might be a little bit harder to see. So you might want to light up, put like an extra light on your black yarn to see all those little holes. Um, 
and then uh, you may hopefully see those uh, yarn better. So I just did another one. Uh, keep going. So our next one, if you look at this one, one, two, three, four would be this one. It's a smaller one, but you're gonna put your yarn or your hook through that one. Okay, sometimes a little bit harder because it's kind of smaller. Uh, so you pull the yarn through once and yarn over and pull through both. And I'll, I like to give it a bit a uh, tug at the end to make it more secured and more even. Just a small tug, not too much, because you don't want it also too tight. Uh, so I have three more, we're gonna keep going. Pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Okay, we have two more. So the next one would be in here. Okay, so hook in, pull yarn through, yarn over, pull through both. And the last one is going to be in this hole. You can see right there, that big one. And I keep, make sure you keep this end also below everything because it might, so I use my finger to kind of hold it down. So that's our first one. So we now we made it all the way to the end. So it should look something like this. All right, so now we're actually going to make it into an oval shape. So we're gonna be crocheting on the other side of the chain that we made. So if you turn it around, you should be able to see um, a little, oops, sorry. You should be able to see little lines here on the bottom, that's what we're gonna be crocheting into now to make it into like an oval shape for his for the bum of the corgis. Uh, so there should be six on this side as well, okay? So I we're going to start on over here. Uh, you can see that there's a little line. There, this time there should only be like one uh, yarn over, or when you put your hook in, there should only be one single yarn line like that okay so the same thing hook in ooh, whoops hook goes in uh, you put the yarn through and then yarn over and then ooh, pull through both okay so we should have six that was one so we should have one more here five four, three, two, and one. You see all those? That's what we're gonna be crocheting into next. So we have this, so the next one will be into this one. Okay, so by the end of this, you should have 12 stitches and I'll show you how we can count them. So you see the yarn with the, you see the, if you turn it around, you should be able to see like two pieces of yarn. This is one, this is basically one stitch. So this is our, this is one stitch that we have here. One, two, we have three, four, five, here, and then over here we have six, and then seven is a little bit wider because it's we're bending here, That's so it's okay. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So 12 is the last one right there, okay? So you should have 12 by the end uh, of this. Okay, so now we're gonna basically work like in a circle. These are called rounds. Right now we have, this is our first round. We just made one round, okay? 
Um, and so on our second round, this is gonna be our pattern. It's gonna be a little different. We're gonna be increasing, so we're making a circle a little bit bigger. So for, you're gonna put your hook actually through the first stitch that you can count. So we're going yarn. So you, what you're gonna do, put your yarn, your hook, sorry, through here, our first stitch, okay? And then we're just gonna do a single crochet. So pull yarn through, yarn over, and pull through both, okay? And then our second stitch is where we're gonna increase and by increase is basically putting two single crochets in the same stitch. Um, so you would put normally your single crochet in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the same stitch. So you can see that we already went in there once. We're going to go in there again and do another single crochet. So this will... Uh, help it gr the circle grow more so our pattern is uh, one single a uh, one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch okay so that's I'm gonna put another one so you can see that I already did this one but I'm gonna go back into it and make another single crochet okay and I also like to put my stitch marker at the beginning of where I was. So I already made six new stitches. So I'm gonna count back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will put it right here. So I know that this is where I started my round. Okay, so we're gonna keep going around with that pattern. Okay, so we're gonna keep going all the way to when we meet back here, okay? So by the time you're done that round, you should have 18 stitches all the way around. So you, I like to double check to make sure I do have it. Um, so we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I would count this last one too. So 18, so we're good. We have 18. Uh, and then so we're gonna keep going. Now we have, our that was our second row. So you can count usually by splitting this in half and then you can count how many rows that you have. So if you split that in half, you have one, two rows. Same with this side, if you split this in half, you have one, two rows, okay? Um, so we're gonna go on to our third row. We're still increasing, so I'll take out my stitch marker. And our next pattern is we're gonna do two single crochets, and then the next stitch would be two single crochets in that one. So again, you do one single crochet in this one first, and then another single crochet in the next one. And this time we're not putting two in this one, uh, we're gonna keep going to the third stitch and put two in this one, okay? So we're gonna put the hook in, yarn over, and pull through both. And this is the third one, so I'm gonna put it again, uh, another single crochet in the same stitch. So I'm gonna go back into this one, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both, okay? And then, so I made four stitches now. I'm gonna put my stitch marker back in. Count backwards. You can see that there's one, two, three, four. So my stitch marker will go in that one. Okay, so do the same thing all the way around. 